Poet has sick demand about thin blue line flags, residents slap them with perfect response. A retired Columbus, Ohio, police sergeant decided to pay tribute to his fellow officers by flying a thin blue line flag at his condominium, but he would soon learn of his HOA's sick demand regarding such flags. However, after some time had passed, it seems many residents in his state were left furious over these incidents and decided to slap all HOA's with a perfect response. Retired Columbus Police Sergeant Daniel Guthrie wanted to pay tribute to his fellow officers by flying a thin blue line flag at his new Albany condominium. However, he would soon be notified by his homeowner association, HOA, Rocky Ridge Condominium Complex, that the flag was in direct violation of their rules. Unfortunately, they demanded that he take it down, and he complied. Of course, Several people in the state were furious to learn what had happened in not only Guthrie's case but many other instances as well. In fact, they were so furious, a few of their state representatives, N. Gonzalez, R. Westerville, and Tim Ginter, R. Salem, decided to fight back with the perfect response, a bill that prevents landlords, mobile home parks, condo associations and the like from restricting the display of thin blue line flags, according to dispatch. The thin blue line flag, which is often also referred to as a blue lies matter flag, is a black and white version of the stars and stripes with a blue line through the center. The thin blue line is meant to represent police maintaining order during times of chaos. With individuals being able to display the flag, they will be able to display respect for officers who bravely put their lives in danger, Ginter explained, which is exactly what people should be allowed to do regardless of where they live. Michael Weinman, who is the FOP Governmental Affairs Director, stated, There are folks who live in these complexes who would like to show their respect. That's why House Bill 230 was introduced. The bill does not protect any other flags like those in support of gay rights, Black Lives Matter, or even flags backing sports teams, it is only meant to pay respect to and raise awareness for law enforcement. It gives recognition to police officers, for those who are alive and those who are deceased, Gonzalez said, according to Blue Lives Matter. It gives recognition to police officers who have earned that respect. Thankfully, it was introduced in May and passed overwhelmingly in the House on November 29. Social media users on the Internet are thrilled. One such user stated, My neighborhood flies, sick and blue line flags and it reminds me daily that I moved into the right area of town. Another said, that would be the day they tell me to take my American flag or Blue Lives Matter flag down. Not happening. One fed up user even threatened, just try and take mine or tell I can't display it on my property, while another user stepped it up a notch, adding, they would hate my don't tread on me. It's about time people start standing up for what's right. There's no reason that people shouldn't be able to fly a simple flag at their home. The thin blue line flag, or the American flag, for that matter, shouldn't bother anyone in this country. The thin blue line was designed to pay tribute to the people who risk their lives on a daily basis to keep every one of us safe. Enough is enough, and let's make this something that should be allowed across the entire United States of America.